friends welcome back to another new video today it's going to be like a vlog kind of style i'm gonna like take you guys along on some plant shopping videos like on like other plants basically as well doing some outdoor stuff now yes i am in a different setting um this, this just it's a long story but long story short my mom is moving out out of this rental home from my grandma's to her new home and I am slowly moving into this rental home. Everything slowly, because we don't want to, you know, like do it all the second, because then it gets really, really chaotic and stressful. So we're just doing everything slowly. And it's still really fun because like I can, you know, grab some stuff outside and Nico, my mom's just cat just jumped into the box. But yeah, so that's basically what it is today. Hope you guys enjoy. And even then I'm filming I'm, I'm not done filming this video, I gotta go outside and actually put these plants in the ground which I will put part of this vlog as well. If you guys enjoy it, let me know by like, you know, giving it a thumbs up if you if y'all do like it, then I'll make more videos like this one. It was super duper fun, so yeah, let's just, let's just get started. Alrighty, so this is the backyard. I planted these caladariums, I mean, um, canna li lilies by bulbs two years ago and mocha her <laughs> she likes to grow three as you can see there's like a pozo and she knocks them down but hopefully as i maintain this place a lot more and sort of like not to pass over here and i put mulch and make it like more full she won't pass through there but as you can see we're handling a really really bad drought even the trees look super duper dry and I do have some of my plants. This shed might go down the line. Some other plants that I have. My bird of paradise and some other ones. My lemon tree, which I think I killed it. I ended up pouring a lot of fertilizer. It's my bad. And then my other lemon tree, this is a lime. And that one over there is pink lemon with variegated leaves. And then my beautiful um, canna lilies that I also bought a while back. When I was here two years ago, they're starting to bloom. It was a mix, it was this beautiful red one. And there was another one that was like with green leaves and like variegation of red. So good and beautiful, but it died. Some other stuff, my mom's rosemary, my geranium that I bought in, uh, in the flea market. It like goes down, which is pretty cool. Gardenia, everything looks straight. My mom's favorite plant, she grew by seed, which is really, really fun. She also ended up placing these beautiful plants to like bushes like it's a it's a pretty flower i forgot what they're called but they're already like two years old and i, I think they're already worn out from what i read online they can do two to three years until they just start to like go like say goodbye <laughs> i bought this grass last year um to make it like it for fall and she ended up planting some mums right there but these i might end up putting them out i'm gonna see if she wants me to place them in pots for her so she can take it if not i'll just um compost it and then the moms, I will pull out her moms so, so she can take it to her new house. The grass, I might leave it there because I kind of like it. <sighs> and some other stuff. And we ended up planting some plants here a while back, but they're already... You can still see it. Oh my God. Uh, uh. <gasps> yeah. But there's this one. I just started to water these plants, as you can see. Like, it's been like four days. You can see like where the grass is green, where I've been watering it, but it's okay. It's a work in progress. When the big trash comes over, I'm gonna like throw all that trash, trash away. I already got the green light for that. I was cutting some branches and branches, I'm sorry. And then over there, it's like a beautiful shade garden, which I think is great for like, just, you know, plant some shade. And then this section for like, um, there was like an old shed. We ended up taking it apart when I was here last time. We just destroyed it. And then you can see like how people that drive by they can see everything so i'm gonna like grow the bird of paradise that one over there and i have i have another one i think you have two in the apartments they get super duper tall i'm gonna plant one over here there and there let them bush out and get like a little bit of privacy i ended up looking it up i'm my zone is 9a i live in texas in san antonio and bird of paradise our zone nine which is literally amazing so they'll do okay in here i might need to like protect them from the cold like cover them with like a blanket when it gets super duper cold in here <sighs> my poor lemon it's okay i might just buy another one to be honest also we haven't gotten rain for like super duper long this irrigation thing doesn't work 
So I use the one from the front. Here's uh, the other one. It's just a lime, like the small lemons. Uh, no, I think it's, I forgot which lemon it was, but here it is. And then over here is the shade section that I was telling you. Over here, I'm planning on growing, hold on. Hold on, you guys, hold on. This is a really great place for like a shade garden. So to go ahead and clean it up. And I think it's, I was gonna cut these trees, but never mind, it's fine. I can grow some begonia, some caledadians. Um, there's another one that I love a lot. I forgot what it's called. Hostas. And this section that I got. I think it'll do amazing. Here's another perspective of the backyard. Right here, I'm gonna place some raised beds. Maybe in spring. Next spring, if not, maybe like next month. I'm doing okay with my financial status. <laughs> um, I wanna put some raised beds and grow some vegetables. Even though it is a little bit late to grow like a spring crop. It's semi a little bit late for a summer crop, but I can also start growing like for winter, you know, but I live in Texas, like it doesn't get hot until like November. But this is what it is right now. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this footage, but I do wanna document the entire backyard. We have so many ideas. I got all the green lights that I can do what I want to do. My grandma, I am currently renting, but she's also interested in selling it to me, but I'm not ready yet. But she trusts me to like make it look good in the backyard. So that's good but yes this is my mom's um real estate allocation but i do have another one because these also do good out in our section of paraca and the uh, zanadu does good paraca tambien this is the bird of paradise i need to go and water it it is still putting out new leaves i forgot what color it is i think it's the orange one i do have the white one and here is um shadow that's her name um no my mom's just cat well the family cat but yes, here's a bit of paradise, and then I have two more in the apartment, and they're gonna go to each fence. And I, I want it over there because the sun goes like this, and if I place it over here, it's gonna shade way too much, and I want, you know, whenever I grow stuff, I want to consider the height and the width of the plants, you know, when they get mature, so I can see, and I can, like, place them where I want to place them. But these get huge, like, literally, like, 30 feet. So, <laughs> I think that'll be perfect, but yeah, it takes years, 1,000%, but just so it's like future-proof, I want it over there. I guess I can show you guys the plants that I have. Here's the Zanadu. I ended up giving it to my mom, but I would like to buy another one because this is so pretty outside. Here's a Monstera, snake plants, another Monstera, I mean, yeah, Monstera. Just bought them from the apartment. This is like an old shed. We had chickens, but they're giving away too. Um, I found a member that has like a bigger ranch, but I might just take it apart. I might actually remove the top and place some plants inside, but I don't know because I'm scared because there's like snakes in there. <laughs> Here is the other house plants that I have. The Nemo Shredis Cantii, some snake plants, Wolfen, Brilliant Marks for the Dendron. Very All that good stuff. But yes, just a little update. I got the extra mangara because the one from the front doesn't reach all the way to the back. So this is a good, this is why it's there. <laughs> but I ended up Googling as well. And this one is also capable of being at nine, zone nine. So I'm really, 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 really excited to see it grow. It was outside, so I'm pretty sure it has hardened off. And I know the split leaf as well. These beautiful angel trumpets um, want the soil to be consistently moist. So when I get paid, 1000% gonna go get some mulch and surround it around the plants so they can stay nice and moist. Super duper excited. Look at this new leaf that was coming in. Gorgeous, cannot wait for it to thrive. I guess I'm gonna go with flip flops. Leave me alone. <laughs> Just trying to have fun outside. Beautiful, beautiful. And the trumpet. Barricaded. I'm not sure the color. I think it's like a pink peach or it could just be white. Really, really excited. And then. The bird, um, bird's nest fern. I mean, sorry, bird of paradise. Yeah. Bird of paradise is right over here. So, gonna go and water them, give them some mulch. Also, this is a pool. I know it's kind of ghetto, but it's, it's fine. <laughs> um, I don't know, it just feels really, really good. I love putting stuff in the ground, like plants. And um, I'm gonna go and water them. And that's it. Okay. So I got the delivery of 
chip drop. It's smoking a little bit. I don't know why it's smoking, but yeah. That's how it looks. It has a smell, but I think it's because like, I mean, it looks like it's really, really good for decomposing. I saw this thing of weird, but so excited. So excited. <laughs>
gets the worm. I think it says all oh, the pens are two dollars. So I'm gonna get this one. If it's two dollars, then that's a good good thing. So yeah. But it doesn't get full sun. It's one to three, three hours of morning sunlight. So I think I got a spot for it. They got a couple more. Let's see. Mm, this is the indoor section, which we don't really have a lot of good stuff. I mean, it's not really really full, but. They got some stuff. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, I thought it was variegated, but it's just, it was just unfurling. Ooh. I see some cute plenty toes. Beautiful. Alocasias. 1398, some Lorenzo's, Trentinas, and snake plants. Look at all those babies coming in. Not a bad deal. Really sad kind of first plants. Okay. Let's go to Home Depot. We're at Home Depot now. And I got this beautiful desert rose. I'm just gonna keep on looking what else they have. <gasps> this is the one that we have. Oh my god. This one's beautiful. Esperanza, that's my grandma's name. Ah, me tira mucha agua. Where the f Damn, $27. It's pretty though. Look at those. It's so pretty. Okay. Hmm. Are the plants i love how they had purple ones and white ones on like different shades like a pink and then like a darker one it could be the same thing i'm not that sure about and these beautiful desert rose here's the other plants that i got yesterday and then these were two dollars and i'm gonna plant them in some containers well not right now and put them on the bottom of a tree because there's only one to three hours of sunlight and then this beautiful rose which is so pretty it smells so good it was twenty two ninety. It's called True something. True that <laughs> multicolor, which which is one thing that I love. I didn't even read of that, but oh, True Sincerity, beautiful. The fresh flowers smell so good. Like <sighs> it just smells like flowers. Look at that. It's beautiful. And then I bought a plant from the apartment, but. I'm so excited. I am planning on growing maybe some plants over here as well. If not zinnias. There's a piquin right there. Which and if you know what a piquin is, it's like a um a jalapeno, but like I don't know, us Mexicans we love it so much because it's like so good. <laughs> and here's Mocha. We remember her. She got a lot bigger. But yes, my mom's partner is gonna bring some mulch. Sorry. Um some mulch. Uh, his house as well the neighbor and my grandma because there's just so much and then here's the backyard all those plants I'm gonna plant them over here like at seven when the sun is not so strong I'm gonna remove these kinds because they're not looking so good um, the mom is gonna stay these Kind of bushes things are gonna stay the potato mat's gonna stay as well but i want to go ahead and propagate it because those are super easy to propagate i'm gonna place all of those zikas zina that plant that i bought all over paraca as well all over over here so super duper excited and yeah pretty guys so i just finished we got the begonium i keep pronouncing it incorrectly Caledidium, cal oh my god, that one, a split leaf philodendron, another begonia, and my regal shield alocasia. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take out the other plants in here. I'm gonna take out these and go ahead and place the new ones. So, yeah, I would honestly set up a time lapse, but um, I'm gonna go my tripod with me, it's in the apartment. The grass is gonna stay, this big bush is gonna stay, 
the lantana, that's what, that's what it's called, is gonna stay on these two trees, which they're actually trees, but I made them into bushes, are gonna stay. Everything else is gonna go. And yeah, we're gonna go put these. Vinca. They take full sun and they get 12 inches on high and eight to 12 inches wide, I'm pretty sure. Just so pretty, I'm so excited. Ready guys, so I ended up taking off this plant. It's a herb that I grew from propagations a long time ago when I was here, but it was dying off. It should have come back. I also making the holes. This was already here. This was like from literally two years and it snowed, so this is a really really hardy plant. The one that I'm putting right now, I'm putting some baby ones. I was gonna go and take out the other ones, which I did a little bit. I noticed there's like a lot of ants, especially in this section, Paraka. I'm not sure if you can see them. But I picked it up and it was insane. So, and also there's way too much sun right now in this section. So I'm gonna go work in the shade. But yes, so excited. Super duper excited. I might end up cutting this one off as well. Because we're starting to put out these. And it's getting a little bit too tall. I want my plants to get full sun. I don't want them to get shaded. So I'm going to cut this one from the bottom as well. It will come back. So by the time it's this height, these little babies should be like times 10. <laughs> their, their height. So I'm going to say really, really excited. And this feels so good to do some yard work. Already. Ready to get off. I know it looks bare and it's super duper sad, but... It's for the best. These kind of lilies need a lot of light as well as these to give them a good head start. Well, that was a workout. <laughs> Okie dokie. So I already took off the old flowers and get ready to put the mulch all over and then place these beautiful plants. I think the white and the red, Ooh, this is a mix actually, but it looks so, so beautiful. And both buckets are full, so that's nice. I'm not sure if I showed you guys on the hydrangea. Sorry if I'm pronouncing this stuff incorrectly, but I ended up placing it para acá. <clears throat> and this is like in a really, really tight budget, you guys very very small budget <laughs> so you can see like the little plants they're gonna get like feet long i mean a feet wide and a feet tall so it should fill in nicely this would grow back and as well the lantana that's what it's called it's gonna grow back as well this hydrangea is like two feet wide and like eight feet tall it can get to that like height but i feel, I feel like it would just be like four feet this season if i fertilize and do all the good stuff i ended up using some rocks that was around this to cover i mean to hold the mulch and there's mocha hey baby <laughs> and i ended up placing the rose in here and ended up surrounding it by mulch i actually knocked down some roses but there's some new ones coming in Already. <laughs> okay, so I already finished mulching. I left the moms as you can see. By the way, I will have the um the website we can go and apply for some free mulch. I'll have it in the comment section, I'll have it pinned. But this is literally amazing. I'm gonna go make some holes now and place these beautiful I keep forgetting. Vinca. Vinca teas in here and go ahead and water them i was going to fertilize but i'm going to fertilize tomorrow so i can just go ahead and water them first but yeah, there's still a lot more mulch left i think it looks a little bit smaller i ended up finding out the white stuff on it it's like white mold 
but it's um, beneficial. That's how like it breaks down organic material to add nutrients back to the soil. So that's great. Oh, and let me show you guys the house plants. Cuties, the Hoyas, Brazil, Global Green. The beautiful Jacena, or Jacena, Totos. Just loving the outdoors. It's doing so good. I ended up placing all of the vincas to the ground. The little babies, gonna give them a really, really good watering. The mulch is placed. Super duper excited. I ended up having extras. Hey, baby. Hey, Mocha. Hey, Mocha. Okay, I ended up having extras right there. <laughs> One here's uh, the other vinca we got from Walmart for $5. She perked back up. And then I'm giving her a good bottom watering for like 24 hours and she perked back up. The other ones, as you can see, didn't with the purple pots, but it's okay. And ended up placing three of them para Hopefully everything does good. Ooh. The mulch had some trash, as you can see, <laughs> but it's okay. Alrighty, Plenty friends, that is basically it for today. I feel so weird that I'm filming outside, but it was a really, really good workout. I'm really, really hopeful that everything's gonna do good. Just gonna make sure that everything is well watered and fertilized. Oh, fertilized. Fertilizing, and yeah, I'll give you guys weekly updates on like the yard. I feel like I will do this like once a week, or if not twice a week, and the rest will just be like fun shopping videos and or um, houseplant content, but yeah, okay. Bye.